precursor. And Father, you have just been wonderful to us. How you have saved us and, and brought us into your family. And you have taught us and developed us and brought us to where we are. You have, you have established us. Where we presently are, you have brought us to where we are. And, yes, Lord. and we thank you for that, dear thank God. You, but yet there are still those, dear Father, that have not heard and have oh, not yeah. believed. And so you have tasked us to go and to declare unto those that are lost. Yes. Go ye therefore, you say, into all the world and preach yes. this gospel. Yes, Lord. Take this great message to the world yes. so that men might know the truth. Yes. Father, I thank you for, for just allowing us to be a part of that. Yes. Thank you. This is eternal business. Yes. God business. Yes. Hallelujah. Your kingdom is in the earth. It's established. And we are part of it. And so we just thank you tonight, dear God. I pray for these that are gathered here. I pray for those that are watching from the airwaves. Yes. God, that we be sanctified, unified, brought together, made as one, yes. so that we can do what you call us to do. Yes. Thank you tonight, Father. We praise and glorify you. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. God. You may be seated. Amen. Blessings on all of you, all of you that are watching over the airways, God bless you. May the blessings of God rest upon you, and may you continue to excel and be all that God's called you to be. Yes. And let's do what God's called us to do, and let's, let's get this thing done. Thank I tell you, you I'm, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm just, I see, the, I see the reality of our journey. Yes. Uh -huh. You know, this is, to me, this is very real. Yes. Yes. This is not, this is church. This is not church to me. This is real. Yes. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in business with God. Amen. You know, uh, yeah, and, and his, I know what he wants. Praise God. God loves us. He yeah. loves his. He loves his people. He loves people. God loves yeah. people. I found that out. And he know he doesn't want one person lost. Jesus is coming back to this earth. You can Amen. be certain of that. Oh, yes, sir. This same Jesus that you see go is coming back. Amen. We we got the word on that. I, I don't care. And, and, I, and, and Peter writes about how people say, well, it's been a long time, and well, he ain't showed up yet and all that. Well, you know, and, and people have forgot about it. They're, you know, they're not even thinking about Jesus is coming. Amen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they think about, well, yeah, that's all. Uh, he's coming. Yes, he is. But he's coming yes, back. Yes. And you don't want to be caught short. I don't want to be caught short. Oh, right. I, I don't want to be, you know, just kind of hanging out, you know what I mean, chilling and uh, whatever. <laughs> no. I want to be about God's business. Amen. You know, because I, I, I see something. I, I've learned something about God, and I learned about this, his wonderful eternal plan that he has for his people and how he has incorporated us and included us in it. And, and every time you open the, open the scripture, he's just begging, he's screaming, he's screaming. Amen. I'm coming back, I'm coming Amen. back. I'm coming back. If you look over in the, in the book of Revelations, and you look at the last chapter, the last chapter, the last book, the last chapter, and the last part of the last chapter, he just keeps saying it. Amen. You know, and I know that, see, that's real. I, I, heard, I hear that. Praise God. I, I hear that. I, I hear that. Well, what are you, what am I hearing? I'm hearing the heart of God. He doesn't, I mean, dear God, I cannot, I don't want to imagine, I can't imagine mm -hmm. what it's like to go out into eternity mm -hmm. without God. Yes. I, 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 that's his all, dear yes. God. He knows what it's like. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. And that's why there's such a plea. Mm. I mean, it, it's, it's so, it's amazing how the plea that you hear in his, you know, in, in him, as he's, and, and it's who, who is it for? For him, no, for us. It's, it's just a plea. Amen. I mean, it, he just, it just goes on. He says, I mean, the beginning right there at the, uh, at the seventh verse of the 22nd chapter, which is the last chapter of Revelation. Seventh verse, 
He says, Behold, I'm coming quickly. Blessed is he who keep the words of the prophecy of this book. And then verse 12 says, And behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me to give to everyone according to his works. I'm the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. And then in the, in the 16th verse, he says, he says, but without, you know, in another 16 verses, I, Jesus, and he makes sure you don't miss who he is. Up. I, Jesus, yeah. have sent my angel to testify to you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, Amen. the bright and morning star. And then the 20th verse, next to the last verse in the Bible, he says, he testified to these things. Surely, I am coming quickly. Don't you hear something in all of that? I mean, the final words, he has told us all the Father's will for us. And his final words is, guys, you know, like, I, I, I hear this like, I hear him saying it like, you know, if I could do it for you, I would do it for you but I can't do it for you. I, I, made, I, I made the provisions for you, right. but I'm telling you, you, you got to believe me, I'm coming. Amen. And, and so, we, you know, we, we, I, don't know if we, I don't know if we really believe that. But, but the emphasis, when you look at this, <laughs> and when you look at the emphasis, and the last thing that he's saying, you know, the last word, the last thing somebody tells you, you know, you won't listen to the last thing they tell you. He's, he's, you know, he's, but you say, and then you're, well, he ain't come, well, no. That's because he loves you so much, he don't, he don't want, he's, he knows where people are, he knows where people are. Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes. God is not slack concerning his promises, men count slack, Amen. but is long-suffering, not willing that any, not willing that any should perish. Do, do we have, do we, are we putting emphasis on everything but the right thing? I mean, think about it. I mean, think about it in your own life. Where is your focus? Is my focus on God's business or everything else? And it's just a challenging question. That's all it is. But, but, but to me, I, you know, I, I, dear God, I, I'm, I'm, I, I, hmm. I, I just want, I don't want nobody lost. Amen. And I want us Amen. to be about God's business. God is, dear God, what's more important than a soul? What's more important than a life, a person knowing God? What's more important than that? There's nothing more important than a person knowing who Jesus Christ is. Yes, right. And that's the truth. And he, he just, and that's what this is all about. That, that's, that's what this journey is all about. That's what, that's what we're about. This ain't about church. No. This ain't about, you know, well, we got a nice church. So, what's with that? Right. It's about taking this gospel message mm -hmm. to the world. Letting men developing a passion on the inside of you yeah. to tell people to love people, to do all that you can. I mean, dear God, the very fact that you know God yes. is, is, a, is something. Just the fact that you know him. Amen. The fact that you know Jesus Christ as your Savior. And, and so, but, 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 but what about those that don't know him? There's a cry on the inside of us that wants to let people know about Jesus. And that's, that's, where, that's, 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 that's what it's about. That, that's what it's about. You know, don't, don't let the devil throw, 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 throw all of these distractions before you and keep you so f distracted about everything but people. And telling people about Jesus Christ and letting your light be a blessing to other people. God, that's what we're about. So, be, be, listen.
Be encouraged. Be stirred up. You know what I mean? And I'm, this, is, this is the message that God has given to his church, Amen. you know, to all of us, to you that are here, to you that are watching. This is the message. Come on. Don't, if you, if, don't let nothing get between you and what God has called you to do and, and how you should ap so appreciate what that opened it, the fact that he's opened your eyes. Amen. And then what are you doing to help somebody else's eyes to be open? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. Because, see, God uses people Amen. to reach people. Amen. He uses people to reach people. And so that's what, that's what, that's what this thing is about. All right, let's, let's get in here. Well, bless God, I'm stirred up. I'm always stirred up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, let's go back to Romans 4. I want to read this. Romans 4, 20 through 25, he did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God, and being fully convinced that what he, God, had promised, he was also able to perform. <coughs> And therefore, it was accounted to him for righteousness. Amen. Now, it was not written for, our, for his sake alone that it was imputed to him, but also for us. It shall be imputed to us who believe in him who raised Jesus, our Lord, from the dead, who was delivered up because of our offenses, and was raised because of our justification. Now, Abraham was the, is the father of the faith system that we are operating in now. He is the man that God used to introduce faith into the human race, so to speak. He made a covenant. God spoke to Abraham back in the 12th chapter of Genesis, way back in the beginning. And he made a covenant with him. Men understood covenant. <laughs> and he made a covenant with him and made promises to him. Abraham understands covenant. then God makes promises through the covenant that he makes. And Abraham, the promises that God makes to Abraham is, is beyond the human mind. It, it, it's beyond that. It's beyond human. Amen. So God is making this promise, and Abraham understands covenant that, well, you know, you don't break covenants. Amen. Men, in those days, that's what they live by. They live by covenants. Blood covenants were made. You know, they were made between individuals, between tribes. If, 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 when, and, and the value of a covenant was you know, when I, whoever I cut a covenant with, if I'm in covenant with you, that bonds us together. Yeah. That makes us one. Amen. It makes us one. Whatever I have, you have. Yeah. Whatever you have, I have. Now, God ordained marriage on that same level, yeah. that same standard. That's, the, that's what marriage is. That's why the devil is so agitated in destroying and lowering the quality of marriage in our culture today. Amen. There's no reason for the, for the, the divorces and the riffraff and the rip through the homes. And with, that's, not, that's not real. It's demonic. It's the devil saying, God's system don't work. Come on over here with me. That's exactly what it is. Amen. But God 
said, For this cause shall a man leave his parents, his mother, his father, and be joined to his wife, and the two shall be one. One flesh, two had become one. Amen. That's what covenant is about. When God made covenant with Abraham, God offered Abraham all that he had. Abraham offered God, give God all that he has. And now God is legally in the earth. Legally. Because Abraham is a man with a right in the earth. Now God has made a covenant with him. And now God has the rights that Abraham... Now I know that may, that, that, that'll give you a head of fit, but don't worry about it. God has a right because he is in covenant. Because Satan is an accuser. And if, any, and if God does anything that's out of kelter, Satan, the first thing he do is point it over crooked finger. Uh -huh. Now God can raise a man from the dead. He can do anything. He, he can do anything because he's God. Amen. But he doesn't. Because the first, the crooked finger of the devil. See, God could have just raised Jesus up from the dead. That's right. He didn't even have to let him die. Amen. But he did. And he raised him up. Yes, Legally. Amen. Legally. Yes, the crooked finger cannot be pointed at God for raising Jesus from the dead. Amen. Why? Because he is dead illegally. See, see, see what I mean? Understand? Yeah. See, God's, God's, he's, you won't catch him in anything. And so this system, this covenant system that God ordained in the earth, whereby he joins with a man. You know, what do you mean? Well, well, I thought God's got to do anything he want to do. Yeah, he, 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 yeah, but he's not going to do anything. That's why he's God. Amen. Because he's smart. Mm -hmm. He is the smartest. Amen. He's smart. <laughs> and you, can't, you won't catch him in anything. Amen. I mean, look at I mean, look at you. They, they followed Jesus around all his entire ministry, trying to catch him. Ha! I got you. You thought you did. They followed him. They followed him. They followed him, trying to catch him, and they never did. And everything they did to him was wrong, and everything he did was right, and the things that he did was wrong. That's why nothing. That's why it couldn't stick. That's why death wouldn't take. Death wouldn't take with him. He, he killed him, but it wouldn't take. Well, he's dead illegally. Amen. <laughs> There's no reason for Jesus to be there, so God raised him up. Well, you know, you know, you you can't you can't you 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 can't do illegal things. Amen. I said it to help us to understand. And so, so God established this wonderful system. And so God established a system whereby down the road, what He is going to do, He is going to rebirth this man, and the man is going to live by faith, Amen. something he knows nothing about now. But he got it started with Abraham. Mm -hmm. He introduced faith to Abraham, and he made promises to Abraham, mm -hmm. and promises that was outlandish, promises that was beyond the natural. Amen. And made them, and called them to come to pass legally, because he is in covenant. It's legal. Mm -hmm. It was legal for Abraham to have a son at 100. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he had a right. It was by faith. See, notice, notice God didn't just come in and zap, zap eyes again here. He couldn't come in and, he couldn't come in there and, 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 and override Abraham and put him in here. You, I mean, you would think so. And, then, and when I, in our thing, we think, oh, why don't God just go in? Well, no, 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 no. Abraham is going to operate in faith and is going to get the boy. The boy is going to be born, but he's going to do it by faith. God's not going to come in there and do his work for him. Amen. See, see that's, 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 see, that's what we want today. We want God to just ignore his system. He want, we want God, I'm going to tell you exactly what we want. We want God to ignore the faith system and just come in there and just do all kind of stuff for us. Who we? It ain't going to happen. Well, God, don't you see them kids in there hungry? Now, won't you go just feed them? Mm. See, we, that's why we see we think we think God's going to heal you just because you're sick. No, you won't. No, you, no, no, no. That, 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 that would be illegal for God. Amen. Do you understand? Do you under, I want you to understand what the fa faith. Amen. We we be. Oh God, heal me, heal me. You let him die. Mm -hmm. If you're not doing it the right way, you, you understand. You understand this. 
You gotta understand, see, you gotta understand faith. Faith is not emotions, it's not feelings. Yeah. It's the God system that He's designed for us to live by in the earth. Amen. And from now on, it's the God system for His kingdom. Faith is the operating system for the kingdom of God. Amen. And He launched it through Abraham. And so when Abraham, when God made promise to him, he did not waver. The Bible said Abraham did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God. He being fully convinced that what he had promised, he was able to. To perform. Amen. That's the key. That's what God wants him to do. Amen. See, God can do it. It's not a question of whether God can do it or not. Amen. The question is, can will you believe that he'll do it? <laughs> not a question of whether he can do it or not. Amen. No, now, 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 now watch it. Now look at the scripture what he said. All things are possible to whom? Him that believe it. <laughs> God, just do it. No, no. No, no, he's not going to just do it. He'll do it when you believe it. Do, do you see how faith, you see faith? He will do it when you believe it. Heal me, Jesus, heal me. You believe it? He's not going to just walk in there and zap you and heal you. Now, I know you think so. But it's just not, that's not right. For, that, no. Then he got to do it. If he do it for you, he got to do it for everybody. The system says, believe. Mm -hmm. Abraham started believing, and notice that it detests the launching pad for faith to come into the earth realm was not a light thing. Yeah. In fact, it tickled Sarah. <laughs> tickle her? She laughed. <laughs> she said, what are you laughing at? She said, well, I didn't laugh. Said, you did laugh. Said, hey, you don't know you don't believe it. Said, you thought it was something funny. Uh -huh. Tickle her. Yeah. Ooh, me. <laughs> 90. Going to have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she got to, she thought, let me see, when she laughed, God didn't laugh back. He said, no, he said, no, it ain't funny. It ain't funny. It ain't funny. I'm establishing something here. Aren't you glad that she decided to believe and get pregnant at 90? Uh -huh. Aren't you glad? Oh, yeah. that, opened the, that opened the faith door. Yes. That opened the faith door yes. for us. He is called the father of the faithful, father of us. He is the father of faith. Because yes. faith is the system. You is to believe God. Believe, if you can believe, you can receive. Yeah, if right. you can believe, you can receive. You can believe. Now, how do we believe? You, you believe by hearing the word of God. Faith comes by hearing the word of God. And this is the thing. This is where, this is where, this is where you know, we get in trouble. That all of these lazy Christians, we, all, we are so lazy. We are not putting the effort into hearing that we need to put into hearing in order for faith to come. Now, I'm going to tell you one of the things that's happening with us in, this, in our present day culture. In our present day culture, God declared that the glory would fill the earth. His glory is going to fill the earth. Yeah. So now, as the glory of God filled the earth, it's going to be seen in all of the earth. Amen. It's going to be seen. See, what we call technology, what we call having advanced in, in all areas is not man's doing. Amen. It's the glory of God mm -hmm. filling the earth. Amen. And so what has happened now, whatever level that, the, that we are operating in, at whatever level that, of glory that's in the earth, we will live at that level. Yeah. Now get this, this is important. This is some new stuff coming off the press. 
whatever level the glory is in the earth. Now, go back, remember, go back, remember numbers that God said. <clears throat> the earth shall be filled with the glory of the Lord. Yeah. We call it progress. Mm -hmm. We call it, you know, uh, you know, we, we, are, we are civilized. We call it, you know, we're now civilized. Uh -huh. oh, no, 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 you can call it anything you want to call it. <laughs> but it's the glory of God. The reason that I get on an airplane and fly from Dallas to New Jersey is because of the glory of God. My father didn't do that. Why? It was not as much glory in the earth then as it is now. Amen. Amen. I, I get on my cell phone and I talk to people on the other side of the country, yes. even in other countries. Yes. My father did not do that. Yes. His day on the earth, it wasn't that much glory in the earth. Yes. But now the glory has accelerated and the glory of God has filled it to the point where the thing that I do is normal, that's normal for me, it would have been, whoa, unheard of mm. in the previous generation. You follow me? So it's, so, we, it, it is, you know, we, we, we pat men on the back. Oh, God, we've got great men in the earth today. Look at them. Look at what they, look at what they do. Ah, oh, child, you ain't doing nothing but what God told you to do. Say the glory of God that's filling the earth comes has to come out of a man. Mm -hmm. Everything that God's doing in the earth. Amen. Just like he cut the covenant with Abraham with a man. Yes, As he fulfilling his word in the earth, it's going to be through men. Yeah. And so men are doing, see men that, that comes up with these witty ideas and these creations and all of these things, all they're doing is what God told them to do. And God is filling the earth with his glory. But here's the thing. As the earth in expands with the glory of God, we live at the level of glory that's here. Now here's where we've been getting tricked at. We have treated the glory of God as if that is something that we did Rather than giving God glory for his glory, Amen. we take the glory for ourselves and it's, having a, and it's, and it's, it's working against us in our operation. Mm -hmm. Because we're not, we're not giving. If you notice, when you go back and you read through the, through the, through the, through the reading, and when, the, when, 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 the, when people were healed, they gave God the glory. Mm -hmm. They gave God the glory. Amen. They gave God the glory. But we're not, we're not looking for an evangelist to get healed. We're, we're looking for, I want, to see, I, want to look at, I want some of the best doctors you can find. Because we can, we can just go get everything that we can get. You know what I mean? And, and then not, not, we don't even mention God. Don't even give him glory. You, you follow what I'm saying? You see, how, you, see how, you see what's messing us up? The devil is messing with it, like, like with that. But the church, we know better. So we are supposed to, to be given God glory. That's why we're the church. We are God's children. And that's what we do. We honor God. Yeah, yeah. We know that this is not men doing. Mm -hmm. We know that it is the glory of God. And so we always give God glory. Yeah. The church. Now the church is supposed to know that. Yeah. But what we have got. What has happened to us. We have kind of slowed down and laid back. Uh -huh. We have gotten comfortable. We'd rather do Zoom than come to church. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on now. Come on. I know we will. I know we do. <laughs> See, last week, I, I, the only reason I stayed home last week is because it was snowing. <laughs> and I didn't want to, you, I, I figured you, I didn't want you to come in, in, in the weather. And somebody said, why don't we do Zoom? I said, I'm going to Zoom you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. and what I, I, Sarah came and wanted me to Zoom, so me to Zoom. And I said, I'm going to Zoom, I'm going to Zoom right out of that church. Yeah. Now, if you want lazy, lazy, <laughs> lazy, that's what it is, absolutely laziness. 
You know what I mean? You know, you know laying back, laying back. Getting me a pillow and getting me a lily tulip and lay back in there. Get on, leave me a pillow. Put me a nice fluffy pillow. Lay back. <laughs> nod off. All right, wake up, wake up, nod off, whatever. Lazy. See, it's the glory that got you to that point. Yes, sir. But you're letting the glory rob you of what you're supposed to be doing. Come on, come on. That's the thing you're going to have to be watched. Yeah. It's, a, it's a tricky devil. He's a tricky devil. There's an anointing that you're going to get in the assembly that you're not going to get on Zoom. Amen. God called his people to assembly. He met, he, when, he, when, he, when he were to, he were to talk to Moses, he, were to talk to, he said, meet me down at the, at the tabernacle. Yeah, yeah. He said, come meet me at the tabernacle, at the assembly place. In the assembly of the saints. You see, the glory of God. You follow what I'm saying? Amen. See? But you see, we have to be careful not to allow the present glory that's in the earth to rob us of what the glory that God is wants to usher in. Because this is, there's no, we have, we're not finished. Amen. We're not finished. Amen. We're not Amen. finished. God, but we, but we, but we got to flow with him. We got to, God, he, he almost, we almost kind of, he got to wait till somebody that'll go with him. Yeah. Well, I decided I'm, I'm going with you, God. I'm going to go with you. I'm going to go with you. I, I'm, I'm going. I, I'm, I'm, I decide to go with. You. I'm going, dear God. I, I'm, not, I'm going. I'm going. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm just. I'm just going. Amen. I'm gonna go until I finish. Amen. Paul went till he finished. Peter went till he finished. I'm going until I finish. Amen. And I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna be distracted by nothing. I'm not going to let the, what we call the convenience of what we call the convenience of life is the present level of glory that's in the earth. That's what that is. Don't allow that to stop you Amen. from moving forward, doing what God, because God wants more, because God is, I mean, he is passionate about people. God is passionate about people. He doesn't want nobody lost. He wants us to be about taking this gospel out to people. Now, so the system is established, the faith system and, and we're going to do it by faith, or we're not going to do it. Now, how is it going to happen? It's going to happen by the Word of God. Now, turn over to uh, 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 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy uh, chapter number 4. 2 Timothy chapter 4. This is how, the, this is how faith comes. By hearing. Amen. Well, you got to have somebody to produce the hearing. Amen. God's got that too. That's what, here, here's what I'm about, I'm about to read this. Verse chapter 4 says, I charge, verse 1, I charge you therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who will judge the living and the dead uh -huh. at his appearing and his kingdom. Yes, Jesus is going to come back. Yes, Amen. Preach the Word. Did you see what he says here? Listen. The gospel, the word of God is not, is never going to get old. You're never going to get past the hearing of the word of God. That's how you grow. That's how you expand. That's how faith comes. And you're going to have, the, in order for the glory to fill the earth, the glory is going to come out of you, but before glory can come out, faith got to go in. Amen. Amen. Now, if you want to do the will of God, if you want the glory, and the will of God for your life is for the glory of God to pour out of you onto the earth. Well, glory cannot come out of you until faith go in you. And faith ain't going in until you hear. That's why he said, preach the word. Dear God, you, oh God, I, I, oh Lord, help us, Jesus, to not be hoodwinked by the devil. Why do people think they're going to move forward and expand and excel without hearing the gospel? Preach the word. That is a standard for all times. For all times. It was a standard when Jesus was here. 
It was the standard when Paul was here. It is the standard then. It's the standard now. Preach the word. Paul is writing here. You know when Paul, you know how long it was when Paul left this earth? And he said, preach the word. Those are God's words. God put those words in him to pen. And, and it's still the same. Preach the word. Preach the word. Why? Because faith comes by hearing. Amen. Faith comes by hearing. You ever see Romans 10, 17? Romans 10, 17? Romans 10, 17. Romans 10, 17. Romans 10, 17. Romans 10, 17. So then faith comes how? Hearing. And hearing what? That's it. So then faith comes. And faith, you ain't, you not, faith is the carrot. Faith is it. Faith is it. Faith got Isaac born when Abraham was 100 years old. Oh, wow. Sarah nursed a baby at 90. Amen. In change. Wow. Oh, oh, boy. Faith. That old, old girl got to have, she, boy, she got to have faith working, boy. I seen them 90-year-old girls. Got to, got you, you're born him, now you birth him, now you got to nurse him. If you nurse him, you got to have something to nurse him with. Are you still here? See, we forgot all about that. We ain't thought about that. We just thought you had him. Yeah, well, you had him, got to feed him. Are you still here? What's going to do it? Faith! Yeah. Faith's going to do it. Yeah. And so now, if, 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 if that can be done by faith, then surely what I need to get done can be done. Do you see how God establishes that principle? It's just outlandish. And God didn't waver. I mean, Abraham tried and tried and tried, and he wouldn't buy none of that. None of that. He, wouldn't, he wanted God to drop the standards, you know. Mm. Abraham wanted God to lower the standards. So do we. <laughs> it's never going to drop. It's never going to happen. He wanted, he wanted God to lower the standards, you know what I mean? That's why he wanted to fool him with that Hagar girl. <laughs> See, he could figure part of that out. Uh, well, you know, she's probably a young girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, he didn't mind that anyhow. <laughs> he can help God and himself all at the same time. Oh, yeah. Because that ain't working. Yeah. Sarah is going to be the mother. Amen. What? And every time you look at Sarah, <laughs> well, you know what 90 years old look like. What's going to do that? Faith. Amen. Faith did it. Faith did it. Now it's established. Yes, sir. Now it's established. Now there's a standard for us. Yes, Abraham was used by God to set the standard for faith mm -hmm. in the earth. And Abraham is not a myth. He's a man. Yes. And you and I are to live by the faith of Abraham. That's how we are to live. And faith comes by hearing. And so what am I zeroing in on? I'm zeroing in on the fact that you, you don't discuss it and get it. You don't talk about it and get it. You, 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 don't, you don't have, you, you're going to get it by hearing the word. Amen. That's how you're going to get it. You're going to get it by hearing. You're going to get it, but you're going to get it by hearing. You're going to get faith. Faith is coming by hearing. Preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. Convince rebuke, exalt. Those are, those are rough terms, you know. Amen. But that's the gospel. The gospel is not cute, you know. It's not cute. It's not, and people don't, you know, it's, it's, this journey that we're on, I'm telling you, you, you better know it. You better know what you're going up against. Amen. You, you're in a wilderness, you know. Now, well, wouldn't it be nice if everything was just, just so beautiful, just nice? I mean, no problem. Well, the devil, he is a, he's against faith, you know. Amen. He's against faith. 
And he does everything he can to, to eliminate your faith. Now listen to Paul's counsel here. Listen to what he says here. He said, preach the word, be ready in season and out of season. Convince. That, that's not a light thing to do. Rebuke. Exalt with all long suffering and teaching. You got, you got to get in there. It, it, when, it's, when they get mad at you, they're going to get upset with you. They'll, 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 they, they, they don't like you. But he said, you got to stay with it. He said, now watch this. For the time is going to come. When they will not endure sound doctrine, uh -huh. but, a tick, but according to their own desires. I was meditating back there in my office and this evening, and I think, I, I said, God, what does it take for people to catch fire for God? What does it take? Well, wh wh how, wh what does it take for people to just get hungry for God? That's what you, you got to get that way. You know, it's, you know, this is not a casual journey. You know that. Amen. I mean, we try to make it that way, but it's not. And that's why I think we are backward, because we think we take a, a journey that's, that's, that's like the way it is and, and think it's a casual, you know, no, no rebuking, no, 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 nothing. You know, just everybody's going to be nice. And that's what we want. We want everybody to be nice. We don't want nobody to be upset. We want everybody to be nice. Mm. We want everything to be beautiful. No. See, if you didn't have an adversary, yes, yes. that's the way it would be. But, but you're going to have to notice, he said, he said, you're going to have to endure the long suffering, putting up with all of the negative things that come at you. You know how disheartening it is when you, when you want to do for people and they won't even let you. Amen. Won't even come and, they won't even come and listen. <laughs> yeah, I, can't, I can't quit yeah. because of that. Yeah, he said, just stick with it. Yeah. He just stick with it. Yeah. I would, love, I would love for everybody to be hungry for God. I wish the whole church was hungry for God. I wish the whole church was hungry for God. But, but they're not. See? So what are you going to do? Well, I'm just going to, th those that are hungry, well, I'm going to feed them. Now, that's the way it is. That's the, re that's the way it is. Yeah. You see? He says, he says, that they, he says for the time, is the time going to come when they will all, they will, they will not endure sound doctrine? Yeah. Well, that's right. I wish they would, but they won't. But according to their own desires. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, this is so evident yes, it is. in the church. People do what they want to do. Remember, you, remember, remember you say, I, I wish I could make people do stuff. I really do. <laughs> but you can't. You can't. God won't let, he won't let the church operate that way. See, I'd, see, I'd, I'd do you 40 lashes if you didn't do for certain <laughs> things. But God won't allow that. He, he won't allow 40 lashes. That's right. You know. You know, he should just, he should just, you, you do your part, and if they, if they do it, then fact, if they don't, they'll suffer loss. But he said they were going, the time is going to come. See, this is the word here. I'm just preaching what, I'm just reading the Bible here. Amen. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, because they have itching ears, they will heap up for themselves teachers. They'll do what they want to do. They'll listen to whatever they want to listen to. Yeah. They'll listen to somebody that will pacify them. They'll listen to someone that will comfort them right where they are. Uh -huh. I want to hear the truth. Yeah. I'm, this is the problem. I didn't write this. Amen. And they'll listen to somebody that's going to make me comfortable. Don't, don't make me uncomfortable. I, I've heard of, I've, I've, dear God, people think, I've heard people that think, I'm, think I pick on them. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't even know them. I don't know what to, I don't know what to do. <laughs> you pick who pick it on you? I don't even know who you. I don't know where you live. But you follow what I'm saying. But that's what happened. God said that's what will happen in this day. Why got to? Why do I have time to pick on somebody? Amen. To go investigate and find out what somebody's doing, so I can come here and preach about it. 
that's stupid. But people think that. God speaks to them about their foolishness, and they think, I, I done found out about it, and I'm talking about them. <laughs> no, that happens. Yeah. You don't think that happens? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shucks. <laughs> they will turn their ears away from the truth mm -hmm. and be turned aside to fables. Mm -hmm. Something that's comfortable. Yeah. Something that make them feel good right where they are. Mm -hmm. Fables, the Bible calls it. Fables. This is what you encounter when you are defending the faith and fulfilling your calling. This is what's going to happen when you preach the God because the devil hates the gospel. Hates and he is the one that stir people up to put people in these predicaments here that the Bible that Paul is talking about here. But you be watchful in all things. Endure afflictions. When the opposition rises up, sister, endure them. Uh -huh. Do the work of an evangelist. Fulfill your ministry. And, and, and I, 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 I bang, I, I say that to you. I say that to you all the time. Yeah. What God has called you to do, don't let nobody, nothing stop you. No. Be, be going, you get in there and you be zealous and faithful. You be faithful. Whatever God has called you to do, be faithful. Be, be excited about it. Yeah. Be zealous about what yeah. God's called you to do. Yeah. You know what God has put into your heart to do. You know what God's put into your heart to do. Yeah. Be faithful at it. Be faithful at it. Be faithful at it. You who are listening by airways, be faithful to what God's put into your heart to do. Don't back off. Don't let this world system back you off from your calling. Amen. Then it begins to talk about the fight that he's fought. Because he's coming to the end of his, he's coming to, he's at the end of his ministry. He's coming down to the, to the why. And I begin to read this and I said, I see that I saw the man's heart. I fought, I said, I've already, I'm already being poured out as a drink offering, and the time of my departure is at hand. I, I, I've, I've been at it, and I've, I've, been, I've done what God called me to do. Amen. And you know, when you, you, you can go back through the book of Acts, and you can walk through there, and you can read his, his, his biography of his, of his work, of his ministry, and the things that he'd gone through, and how they would get so mad at him. One time they got so mad they threw rocks at him, yeah. killed him, and God raised him up. He went on back to preaching. You see, all, all kind of opposition. In jail, in jail, in jail for preaching the gospel. Mm -hmm. And all of this he, he went through. Got so mad at him. They would just get so mad, dear God, they get mad at him mm -hmm. for preaching the gospel. And that's what he did. He kept oh, preaching it. And then he ran his race and he got down to the end. And, and he's pouring his heart out. He says, I fought the good fight. Yeah. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. My dear friends, that's what you want to do. The race is not, doesn't de depend upon how fast you run. But stay with it. Revelation 3, 20, 21, Jesus said to him that overcomes, I will grant to sit with me on, in my throne as I. Paul is patterning himself right after Jesus. Jesus talked about his race. He said, as I finish, I've, I finished my race, and now I'm sat down with my Father in his throne. If you will stay with it and be faithful and finish what I gave you to do, you can sit with me on my throne. God, you ain't taking that from me. Now you, you can have, you can, but you're not going to take that from me because I didn't hear from you. I got it from Jesus. Amen. I got that from Jesus. Amen. He told, and Paul, he heard it. Paul heard it too. That's why he's talking the way he talked. He said, I stayed with it. Jesus, I stayed with it. And he's telling us, I stayed with it. I have fought, I have fought the good fight. I finished. Amen. God. Oh, God, there's got to be an offer. There's got to be some offer. 
This has got to be something wonderful. When you have fought and you finished, yes, and you're at the, at, the, at the finish line. Mm. Wow. You're at the, at the finish line. I finished. He said, I finished the race. I finished the race. Yes, I finished. I took it all. They banged on me. They beat me up. They got their ship. I was shipwrecked. Yeah. I was hungry. I was, they beat me. They foot me with stripes. Yeah. I stayed with it. Hallelujah. I finished. Jesus had already told him that. If you stay with it, Paul, you can sit with me in my throne the same way I stay with it. See, you are not running some race that nobody else has never run. Jesus ran this race before you did. Yeah. You hear me? You hear me? Jesus ran this race before you did, and he finished. Paul ran this race before you did, yeah. and he finished. He said, if you, see, I, see, I take that, per, to, to me, that's personal. That's personal. See, that's why, that's why you're not shutting me down. You're not stopping me. You, you, you can't stop me. Because I heard Jesus. Mm. Jesus is the one who gave me my marching orders. Yes, and he is the one that I'm pleasing. Amen. He says, son, if you'll stay with it and run this race to the end, you can sit with me. And I'm going to tell you something. Nobody's going to get my seat. That's all I see. That's all I see. That's all I see. The only thing I see is me running and finishing. That's all I see. I, I don't see, and I don't care. I don't really care about nothing else. I'm being honest with you. And the older I get, the less I care. Hey, come on. I, I don't see. I, I, all of the, I want, the thing that I want to do is to run my race and finish. Amen. Yeah. And finish. And nobody, people is not going to make my mind hey, up for me. People is not going to discourage me hey. to, 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 to walk away from my calling. Hey. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody is going to discourage me to walk away from the calling that Jesus I know gave me to go love people and tell them yeah. that he loves them. God. You're going to take that from me. Opposition comes in all shapes and sizes. Devils come in all different flavors. They all stink. Yep. But I'm not, he's not running me off from my calling. Say, say, I can't be that for I can't be that for you. You got to get that way. You got to get that way for yourself. You. I, I can't I can't be that for you. you. Anything can stop you. Don't you let listen. The stuff, mess, the world, everything that's going on. Well, anything will stop you yeah. and distract you. Yeah. One of the main tricks of the devil is to use stuff that looks seems real. Yeah. And shut you down. Mm -hmm. The devil trick. But you got to decide. I'm Paul. See, that's what happened with Paul. You see, I mean, dear God, he said, "I'm, I'm, I'm I, I, I finished. I finished. Yeah. I finished." And you know, as he was finishing, did you know the pressure was still on? Because if you look at how, look at what he says here. He says, he says, verse 8 says, Finally, there is a lay, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give me at on that day when, when Jesus comes. Uh -huh. uh, he's coming. Jesus said he's coming. Mm -hmm. And you know what he said? When he comes, he's going to have a reward with him. Yeah. You know what he said? Go right back in the book and back in the book and read it. Yeah. And so Paul said, yeah, that's, well, see, that's agree with what he says. He said, I'm going to get my, he's going to have my crown, when he, crown of righteousness. Uh, which the Lord is righteous judge, will give me on that day, watch this day, and not to me only, ha, but also to all who, will love, who, who have loved his appearing. So I, I, I'm in there. Oh, I'm in there. I got mine in there. Oh, yeah. I, I'm in there. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I, 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 I'm in. And I'm trying, to encourage, I'm trying to coach as many to get in as I can. To get in and know that you got something coming when Jesus gets here. <laughs> All you got to do is run and finish. Now, 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 and you know, it's, it's interesting. 
And then Paul began to talk about those that were still fighting him. He said, Demas, verse 10, Demas has forsaken me, yeah. having loved this present world and has departed for Thessalonica. Mm -hmm. so you see, you see, you see, people are no different. People are no different. They're no different. They're no different. They're no different. Now, now you know, Demas probably thought he was doing the right thing. Yeah. Yeah. See how the devil, when the devil get hold to a person's mind, the devil's not going to get a hold of your mind and tell you that, you know, you're so wrong. He, when the devil get a hold of you, he's going to tell you that you are right on point. Otherwise, what is, what is going to, that's the trick of the devil. He is a deceiver. The devil will put a fire under you and twist you and tell you and convince you that you are right. Sure he will. And you'll believe it. Look at Demas. He has forsaken me. He's going, he's going, going to go on his Thessalonica somewhere. See, only Luke is with me. He said, get Mark, bring him with you, for he is useful to me for ministry. Tychicus I've sent to Ephesus. Bring the cloak that I left with Carpus at Troas when you come. And the books, especially the parchments. Now, there, there's another one. Alexander, the coppersmith, did me much harm. You see, see how to see, see, everybody's not in agreement with him. And that's why, you know, people don't, that's why you can't be bothered with people. Don't, when people are in disagreement, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And don't be discouraged. See, all of these people that he has met in here was with Paul's group, was with him. They was with him. But now they're, 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 they're going to belly up. He said, Carpo, look, 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 Alexander the coppersmith did me much harm. May the Lord repay him for according to his works. Uh -huh. you, you, see, you see, see, people, this is real. Yes, it is. This is real. Yes. And I'm telling you, when you set your heart to do what God has called you to do, I'm telling you, every devil is going to come out of the woodworks. And, and, and it's going to seem like it's real stuff. And if you're not careful, you're going to find yourself trying to deal with it in the natural. Don't do that. It's not natural. It's a devil. That's mad at you because you are sold out for God. And he's doing everything he can. Let me tell you something. The devil is smarter than you are. That's why you need Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. You are not intellectually smart enough to deal with the devil. Come on, man. He was manipulating people before you got born. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And he's, and listen, <coughs> the devil does not show up with horns on his head. Come on. God told us that, and still, we still think we got horns on his head. We still think he's cussing and smoking pot. No, he's not. He is just as gentle, and he's just as cunning, and he's just as manipulative as he can be, and he tells almost the truth. But there is a twist. The God said, to, he told us, he said, he pre, he. He presents himself as an angel of light. Come on, son. Read it. It's in the book. So come on. If, the, if, if he could present us, he's going to be as much like God and going to be as, make as good a sense as anybody could make. And it's going to make, he's going to make, I'm going to tell you, the devil is going to make good sense to you. But you're not smart enough for him. That's why you, you, you got to just, you, you know, what should I do? I get on your faith before God yeah. and get your directions from him. Come on. Come on. 
I'm telling you what to do. I know what I'm talking about. Get your direction from him. Get your direction from him. And then there are those that God has set over you to give you directions. You follow me? See? God's the one that set the gifts in the body. You didn't set them there. You, you, don't, you don't decide. You don't choose. <laughs> you don't choose your leadership. People do it. People do it. They choose their own leadership. They choose what's comfortable for them. And that's not the way it works. I said, that's not the way it works. God has set the members in the body as it pleases him. Not you. See? Yeah, you understand? See, I'm showing you how. This is all in the book. But, but I, and I say that because I think that there is a lot of people that's this. And I know it because that's why people are in a stew. Because if, if, you, if you were where you're supposed to be, doing what you're supposed to do, the faith would be working. Yes, sir. Faith works. Amen. Faith is not a host. Faith works and it produces. Yes, it does. But deceptions and fables do not work. And you'll stay in a stew. Alexander the coppersmith did me much harm. May the Lord repay him according to his work. You also must be aware of him. Because mm -hmm. he's, he's still out there doing dirty stuff. Yes, he is. He's telling Timothy, says, Timothy, watch him. Watch him. See, this is real stuff here. Is really? it? You, you also must beware of him, for he has greatly resisted our words. Mm. See what I mean? Yes. He's he, he, he going to come at you, Timothy. He's, gonna, he's, gonna, he's coming at you. He said, watch him. I'm giving you counsel up front. Amen. Watch him. Watch him. You see, this business is, it can only be done by Holy Spirit. Uh, no man operates in the kingdom on his own wits. Yeah, Holy Spirit is the is the is the, the comforter, is the teacher of the New Testament church. Mm -hmm. And but the, the devil will get will, will cause you to think that you know something, mm -hmm. yeah. and get you messed up. Don't do that. Don't allow that. Don't 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 do that. See. See, and I, and I know how people get. I know how people get messed up. I know exactly how to get messed yeah. up. They learn just enough to get them in trouble. Mm. No, I know. I know how to get messed up. And they think they know. They think they know something. Every people that are twisted up, they think they know. They think they know. Yeah. They think no, you don't know. You think you do. Do you know, deception? Think about deception itself. Deception <laughs> is just what it says. Amen. It's deception. You think you're right. Mm -hmm. And you got you get evidence. You go to the back and get scripture to prove you're right. <laughs> I'm telling you to do that. Okay. You can go to the Bible, you can read the Bible and say the thing you wanted to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can you, you know, you, 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 I, 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 I'm amazed when I listen to sit and watch them these old movies, and they be serious. They be serious too. Yeah. God say an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. And they, they, they're very serious about it. Oh, yeah. you, you follow what I'm saying? But you can make the Bible say anything you wanted to say. Uh, yeah. But, but you see, th th there's nothing to replace humility. There's nothing to replace humility before God being open, empty, and naked, knowing nothing. Amen. There's no replacement for that. That's what God means when he said, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time. Don't you, don't ever try to go anywhere. If, if God didn't preach to you that, get, get out get from there. Because you're going to fall. And, 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 and heavy will you fall. Oh, yeah. God will exalt you, but he'll exalt you 
in his time. He knows when it's time for wake up, and he'll raise you up. But this is the foundation of our relationship with Jesus Christ. Get, the, get our faith, trust in him. And, it's going to, and, and that, that, that's going to grow in us by the word. And the word must be preached yes. to you. Yes. And you have to hear it. And it has to be, you have to hear it, and you have to keep hearing it, and you have to keep hearing it, and you have to keep hearing it. Faith comes by hearing. Amen. Not having heard. He didn't say having heard. But faith come by hearing. hearing. Go ahead, stand to you. Father, we thank you this day. Amen. And we are so honored yeah. to be a part of your family. We are so thankful, dear God, yeah. that you have loved us yeah. and established yeah. us, dear Father, in your kingdom. Yeah. Teach us your ways, O oh Lord. Yeah. Guide us by your spirit yeah. that we might be able to fulfill the calling that you've placed on us. Yes. That we might run this race yes. that you've set before us, yes. looking unto Jesus, yes. who is the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him yes. endured the cross, yes. though he despised the shame thereof, yes. and is now set down at the right hand of majesty. Yes. Father, we bless you tonight. Bless you, we honor you. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Go in peace. Oh, yeah. And be blessed of the Lord.